we talked the last time about why the tape on the finger and the power spot, you can't play with that. You cannot play with that. Um, because uh, right now, I'm, uh, I'm, I've defaulted to my low core. So 18, here's blue one. My dominant subregion is blue two. I will always go square here, okay? So if, if I went out and played everything in blue two, yeah. Uh, but as a, a lower core player, that's too narrow for me to play. If I go to blue three, here I am. So the exercise that you're gonna get will, uh, the, the right balance, We'll square your hips 100% of the time. So let me go back here to blue three. Hips are open. If I apply pressure here and on the lower core power spot, you see I just squared up. This is instead of having tape. Uh, if on the other hand, I apply pressure, let me show you where the pressure would come from. If I grip this club, Okay, when I apply pressure here, my hips are gonna rotate. So I have two power spots. You can determine the dominant subregion or the dominant zone by taking the fingertip and the uh, power spot. However, as soon as that player gets both power spots, those hips are gonna open or close or do whatever they've been doing. The belief was at one point, that we could tape a finger, tape the power spot, and go play. You cannot. You've got to have uh, the, uh, you have to do the right balance express.